no more flares, no more blood in the stool, um, no more hair loss. This is huge. Yeah. And I'm going in for my frozen embryo transfer oh my... in the next month. You're the baby whisperer. I am a, I am a proud baby whisperer. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're welcoming two very special guests that have worked <gasps> with. I have not met you in person after all so this time. <laughs> it is so nice to meet both of you. If you would just introduce yourself, we'll start with you to our audience. Hi, I'm Lucas Francis, wife of Roxy Francis, who's in the program. <laughs> I mean, we're all the same at this point. <laughs> I love and, and you went through you went through the program. I did. I went through Transform. I've been working with Maggie for about a year and a half now. And you were a big part of this as well. I would see you, you would be right by her side. Sometimes you couldn't make it and yes. you would be the one. He's like, just... um, I'm Lucas. I'm here to ask a question from my goddess of a wife. <laughs> <laughs> he feels the same way. That's true. Yes. That's true. Well, thank you both for being here so much. And I know we want to talk a little bit about what was it that you were trying to work on and why you wanted to work with Dr. Maggie and how you saw her I can't out. believe I haven't met you yet, like I in know, person. I'm, it's, so I'm just I'm still like, she's real. <laughs> well, uh, when I met Dr. Maggie, I was at in my all-time low. Mm -hmm. I was uh, diagnosed with ulcerative proctitis about 15 years ago, which is a form of IBD and where it's horrible pain. You can't digest anything. Mm -hmm. There is blood in my stool uh, yeah. every day. And I was experiencing flares for about a year at that point. And uh, on top of that, I was up in the middle of the night every every night for hours at a time, um, sometimes three hours every night. That was just the norm for me. Uh, on top of that, uh, lots of hair loss. I mean, chunks of hair Ugh. in every corner of my house and um, just not feeling well, not doing well. Uh, I had gone to the doctor. I had just moved to Oregon and went to yet another doctor. Mm -hmm. I had been to dozens at that point. I had invested in the very best. I lived in Los Angeles uh, when I was first diagnosed, went to some of the best gastroenterologists in um, LA, uh, UCLA school, uh, medical school. My alma mater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it was shocking. They had said nutrition has nothing to do with it. Uh, you just got to get on this Believe pill. Right. And the pills were no longer working. So I went to a new doctor in Oregon and they said, you know, you're doomed. Basically, wow. you need to mm -hmm. come to my office, spend a bunch of money, get hooked up to an IV for two hours uh, every month for the rest of your life. And that was my all-time low. Well, yeah, this sounds heartbreaking. This sounds like you're in a hopeless place. I'm sure as her spouse, this was challenging for you as well. And it was hard to comprehend. This was our reality. And this is what our future was going to look like. Yes. And we were wanting to plan for pregnancy at the time. That's what, that was our goal. And it was, um, I couldn't even see that as a possibility. Right. You, yeah. If you weren't even feeling well yourself and being able to take care of yourself, how could you possibly nurture this life and bring that to fruition? Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power pack 30 minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of Transform. Go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in that training. Yeah. So how did you find Dr. Maggie? I was uh, uh, in an entrepreneurial business program and uh, one of our coaches were, was talking about a, uh, a doctor, an autoimmune doctor whose business was booming and doing great. And, and um, I just had heard it out of the corner of my ear and wrote her name down. And a, a month or two went by and I researched and, you know, the minute I found her, I got on a call and joined the program. Wow. <laughs> a minute. <laughs> well, everybody's curious. How are you feeling now? I'm doing fan freaking tastic. <laughs> fan freaking tastic. <laughs> yes, I'm doing so much better. Um, 
I mean, you guys were just talking about blood sugar swings. I didn't even realize I was having them. Yeah. I would eat and zonk out. You know, we'd go out and eat and I would just be sleeping on the drive home. Um, no more flares, no more blood in the stool, um, no more hair loss. This is huge. Yeah, I've got my beautiful, long, thick hair. Um, went through a few rounds of IVF, got what I needed, and I'm going in for my frozen embryo transfer oh in the next month. And I'm okay. Yeah, you feel ready for this. Yes, now. that's yeah. that was the big transformation was I think when you go from doctor to doctor to doctor and people tell you you're not okay, you're never going to get over this. <laughs> that that's one story. Fear. I was living in yeah. fear. I had no community or place to express the extreme amount of fear inside. Uh, that was preventing me from moving forward with my life. So now I feel like I am okay. That is, I am good. Dr. Maggie, you gave me the gift that I can move forward with my life and the confidence that I'm all right. And I know what to do if I, if I ever feel like something's approaching, I have protocols. I know how to work through it and I'm well. What about this is making you emotional? Cause I can sense the emotion. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just living, living in that state of, I thought that my life was going to end early. Oh gosh. I thought I was not going to get to live yeah. a long life. And now I know that I get to live as long of a life as I want to. Mm. And that it starts in my mindset and then it goes into the actions that I take. And you're seeing, you're seeing the results. You're feeling better. There's no more blood in your stool. I mean, that had to be a scary occurrence to see so frequently. All yes. of these things have totally turned around based on the principles that are in the playbook, the playbook right here. And you've had a chance to read this book and get your hands on a copy of this. What would you say to somebody from your experience from working with Dr. Maggie that she was able to boil down these lessons in this book for the masses now? Would you like to answer that? Yes, this program has organized so many different concepts that as roxy said we know exactly what to do we, there's there's no confusion there's no fear it is the mastery of the organization of these principles and protocols is truly incredible and it's been proven in our case and in going through the program seeing person after person after person getting the same results and you look at her work in her website and you see the hundreds and truly the thousands of testimonials of people whose lives have been transformed it is proof. And I'm just so grateful that this book is out now so that more people, every single person on the planet who has some form of autoimmune deserves to have this knowledge and be able to take actions to transform their health and lengthen their life in the way that we have with Roxy's. I'm just so grateful that this book exists and it can get to the people who need it. Real people. There's so many real stories in this book. And now we've got two more sitting in front of us. Dr. Maggie, how special for you getting to meet for the first time in person? Because I know yeah. as it goes, you know, you see so many people through through the internet now. Well, I think this is the part of the experience that I want to point out. One of the chapter is about creating experiences. I One of the things I'm really proud of is the ability that I walked away from clinical practice to create an experience that could be experienced by anybody globally, right? And Roxy could be in Oregon or Roxy could be in LA. And I have Irene in England, you know, and Mary in Ireland, you know, it's like, it, it doesn't matter. Right. I feel privileged to have had the ability to have experienced so many people through this program. Um, I just feel blessed. I feel like I have people after people that I feel lucky to be in the presence of. And when I see like the love and the joy that you have in your life and the new life that you guys are going to be bringing into this world, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like I'm good. I, we can call this good. And if they're We're able good. to, because of the work that you've, you've helped create and put into yeah, all of this, this that is, is amazing. This gives so much meaning to my life. Like, I just, I'm so thankful. I'm so glad you guys made it. We're so thankful. <laughs> We're all going to be up here crying in a minute. <laughs> I mean, I am so grateful for my life and I'm so joyful. And you act like that's, that's the thing you really brought back into my life. Like mm. I feel joyful. Mm. I feel great in my body. I feel great in my mind. I didn't even realize that that was going to come with the study that you provided. You've noticed a shift as well, haven't you? Yes. I mean, there was just a lot of depression and anxiety prior yeah. to this program. And our days are great. Every day is great. And I mean, there's, there's so much more here. Roxy mentioned some of her symptoms. There were many more she experienced 
before the program. And for, we've gone through this so many times. We have counted every single symptom and have been able to say this has been transformed mm -hmm. through going with the program and it has still transformed these months and over a year later. And I can't tell you the chills I have hearing about the fact that you're ready to do this embryo transfer because I know as you were going through, this was, you know, maybe not the immediate focus while you were dealing with the health challenges, but it was always the goal. Yes. And speaking from experience of somebody who also went through infertility struggles and trying to create a family, you're the baby whisperer. If yes. I would have met you earlier, <laughs> I would have had a child earlier. And I know that to be yeah. true. And so people also come to you for fertility. I am a, I am a proud baby whisperer. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, talk about why is that that when they when when you're able to apply some of the principles like that well, are why are people well why are people infertile yeah like at the way that we're approaching infertility is all wrong like we're looking at the result of something and then we it's it's just an indicator that there's other things that are going on that needs to be fixed right so and just like it's an indicator it is changeable changeable just like pain is changeable fertility issues 99% of them are changeable. And it's an indicator that there's something else that's wrong. When I see somebody, whether it's Roxy, whether it's somebody else coming to me saying, I have trouble having conceiving, I look and I ask questions and we look at their data, we work with them, but pretty much within the first 15 minutes, I already yeah. know how, what it's going to take to fix this issue. Like, and Dr. Basinger talks about how he has an order of operations, right? I could see the patterns that's causing this indicator to light up. I could already foresee what it's going to be to do that. And then just like he was talking about, and it's in the middle of this, as we go through the middle, that you and your body is going to give me even more indications and data. And I love this. Okay. So one of the things I talk about is how everything is data driven and there's three sets of data. Always people tend to think there's only one set of data, which is blood work or some sort of testing. Well, that's only one set of data. That's not even the first set of data. The first most important set of data is actually your symptoms. Mm -hmm. So I love the idea. And if I had to write another chapter, it would be the secret is in your symptoms. Don't <laughs> like, like thank your, thank your symptoms as data points thank them. because not, the first set of data is your symptoms. And I love the fact that I was teaching Lucas and you like, and, and everybody in there like, what is your body doing? What is it saying? When did it happen? How did that happen? What is your blood work going to say? Second, second set of data. And then, you know, so there's two sets of data. And then there's also a third set of data. The third set of data is also family history and your past medical history. So I feel like those pieces don't get put together. And so for me, when I see like even a case of, let's say, I'm trying to get pregnant, to me, it's just another puzzle to be solved. It's an indicator that's there, but I know the order of operations it takes to get there. It's just fun. It is fun. It's just fun. It's fun to make babies, however you, you want to look at it. <laughs> well, I can't wait for that update, you know, as well. And, and it's going to be the most special update. And, you know, it's a mindset thing as well. We know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen for you guys. And that's, that's chills. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It's just a, such pleasure. an amazing surprise and to finally meet you in person. Yes, I'm feeling likewise. so well. I feel like I know both of you so well. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for being a part of this and just for sharing your story. It's going to help other people. You know, I'm sure maybe watching some of her case studies inspired you. Is yes, that true? That's yes. what got me here. Yes. Well, well, you're doing the same for others. So thank you for taking the time. Thanks for paying it forward. Yes. And thank you for showing up. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Did you want to say something else? Just thank you, Maggie, from the bottom of our hearts. Yes. <laughs> thank you you're welcome you're welcome we appreciate you guys thank you Thanks so much hi and thank you for watching this video if you're interested in actively looking for a solution to your problem and you'd like to work with us i'm going to invite you to go ahead and click the link in the description to book a chat with our team i and my team look forward to talking to you to learn more about you to see if we are indeed a good fit to work together thank you